Hey guys, it's Robert Jafala. How are you? So, almost getting ready to leave for a couple, uh, maybe a couple hours. I mean, so, yeah. I guess we have two or three hours before we get to go. So, we're in New York. Um, getting ready to go. And I say we, so, a little bit of background on the trip. Um, so, the trip is sponsored by the Schusterman Foundation. Um, and there's 50 different storytellers all going with us. Uh, we're all going to, we start in Tel Aviv and we work our way through Israel. So, it's going to be pretty cool. Um, and you already know, I, I'm not a big fan of long flights. So, anybody who knows me, I hate long flights. So, remedy for a good long flight, some really good whiskey. Um, so, uh, hanging out here in the airport bar, having my whiskey. But don't worry, um, the airport bar is pretty sophisticated. There's like a little iPad in here. So, they tell me, like, you know, when my flight's getting ready to board, and I got my little boarding pass. And, I got the good old U.S. of A. Oh, yeah, that's good. Um, yeah, so it's going to be, a, I'm excited about it. Really, it's going to be fun. It's going to be a really good trip. Um, so, yeah, you know, uh, I don't know. So here's the thing. I guess as we go through this trip, we go through this journey, I guess you guys should tell me what you want to know. Um, have questions, comments. Make sure you comment below. Um, and we're try, I'll try to answer as many of the comments as I can throughout the journey um, as time permits. And... Uh, it should be fun. So this is going to be probably my last, first, and last <laughs> stateside video um, before we, you know, head across the pond in the Mediterranean and we head to uh, Israel. So uh, I thought I would, you know, give a little video before we go. So I don't think the plane's here yet, but you know how these planes, you know how fast they flip these suckers. Um, so the plane's not here yet. Um, but the plane will be here shortly, and I'll be on it, and uh, we'll be ready to go. Um, I guess the sad part, I mean, this is sort of a bittersweet trip for me, because this weekend is actually um, Capital Pride in our nation's capital where I live. Um, and I usually spend Capital Pride with my friends. Um, and so my friends are all at Capital Pride, they're in the, at the parade, or there's a big day party today, so they're there. and. I'm in an airport getting ready to go to Israel, so I'm happy to go to Israel and I'm happy to take this amazing experience. But I have to say that right now in this particular moment, um, I'm missing my friends a little bit. Um, but I'm really, really excited about this next couple days um, in Israel and you guys get to share with me on my GoPro. So I guess tonight, today's episode um, and today's video is dedicated to Capital Pride and what Pride represents. Um, and I think it's fitting that um, as bittersweet as it is that I'm not at Capital Pride, that, you know, um, I'm having to go during Pride Month because I'm going to Israel during Pride Month because I think it means a lot. Um, because, you know, as somebody who's a believer, and most folks know that, um, I just think that everybody is perfectly and wonderfully made no matter who you love or how you choose to worship or how you choose to represent. And that's what Pride Month's all about. Pride Month's about being yourself and being you know, 100% you, and that being okay. Um, and so going during this period, I think, is really pretty cool. Um, and um, I talked about this, so there's going to be some videos that roll out this week from the Fowler Show, um, as well as these videos that were these daily videos. And I'm not sure when the Pride video is going to hit. Um, but I, let me just say this, because um, I'll be remiss if I didn't say before I left the United States. Um, about this current White House. And you guys know, you guys already know, that I, I have mixed views on this White House. I'm not one of these liberals or Democrats that are going to just, you know, throw stones at the White House for throwing stones' sake. But it does disappoint me that for another year, not only did we not receive a statement from this Pride on this White House about it being Pride Month, but we didn't even like, get acknowledgement of it. Um, and that's upsetting and frustrating. And, and the reason being is because it's not, like, I think they're making this about some sort of religious argument and about how, you know, as Christians, um, you know, we can't, you know, acknowledge a group of Americans who are fighting for their rights to be themselves. Uh, and I think it's rather the opposite. Uh, if, you know, I think if you read the words of Jesus so carefully in the, in, in the red, um, he spends more time, you know, criticizing the most religious people of them. I'm um, saying that y'all are the problem. You guys are so religious that you guys miss the forest for the trees and you cut off your nose despite your face. Um, and here's another example of it. You're so religious that you don't realize that in being so religious, you miss that Jesus is love and love means loving everybody. Um, love is, in its purest form doesn't have judgment, doesn't have limits, doesn't have limitations, doesn't have rules to it. 
um, clearly this White House wants to prescribe rules to that. And so, that's sad. And, and I think what Pride Month represents is it's an opera. I mean, a lot of times because of sick and twisted and backwards theology, um, because of who you love and because of how you just represent many people um, in the LGBTQ community lose their family, they lose their friends, they lose their homes, they lose their churches, they just get kicked out um, and they have nowhere else to turn to and the Pride Month is about celebrating community and us coming together as a community. Um, so I'm sad that I'm not with my friends because of that particular reason, um, but I'm happy to go on this journey because I think the sort of, in my mind, one of the founders of community was Jesus Christ himself. And so to be on this journey at this time during this month is going to be pretty powerful. Flight leaves in a couple of hours. I'm going to enjoy this pre-flight um, drink here. Um, and the next video that you'll, daily video that you'll get, uh, I'll be on the other side of the pond. Um, but until then, remember, I love you, but God loves you way more than I do. I'll see you on the other side.